What's going on, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asia My Show. Today, I'm gonna help you pick the right trucking school. Now, I get a lot of questions about this, so let's get into this right now. So, how to pick the right trucking school? Now, the first question you actually need to ask yourself is, do you have the money to pay for trucking school? Okay, I know that you've been doing your research and you are ready to start your life in trucking and get your CDL, but you need to answer that question first. Do you have the money to pay for trucking school? And how much does it cost? And what are your options? So basically, trucking school can cost upwards of $10,000. It depends on the school. Yes, sometimes the difference in school and money, they do make a difference. The school I went to cost $3,000 and it was the worst school ever. And you know what? They're not even in business anymore. I went out to a school in Sacramento. I don't even want to throw out their name. It, it was a horrible school. I got what I paid for. But they can go upwards of $10,000. Now, I know you're asking yourself, I'm starting or want to start this trucking career so that I can make money. I don't have $10,000 per se. You know, what are my options? Okay, so a trucking school can cost upwards of $10,000. All right, so what are the three options that you can do so that you can pay for this trucking school so you can start your career? Option number one, pay for it yourself. All right, you could borrow money from friends and family. You could take out a loan. At the trucking school, they might have installment payments, but essentially, you're taking care of this yourself. Second option, they have government grants, something called a WIA grant. Okay, you could look more into this. I have a video about this, but you essentially could go to trucking school for free. Third option is basically you sign on with the mega carrier. If you're new to trucking, you don't know what a mega carrier is, it's one of the big companies. You know, the Swifts, the Knights, the New Englands. Basically, these mega carrier companies, they have their own structure and they will send you to school, pay for everything. But of course, there is something about that. And we'll go into that real quick. All right. So option number one, you pay for it yourself, but what are the negative drawbacks? Real quick, you're going to have to pay for it yourself. And if you're getting to trucking, and the reason why you're getting to trucking is to make money, you might not have that kind of money to pay for it. That can be a negative thing about that. Now, second, the WI grant. That sounds good to get good trucking, free school, right? But here's the thing. If it's free, a lot of people want it. There's going to be definitely certain things that you're gonna have to have in order to get this grant, right? You, you have to have complications financially. There's certain things that you have, right? Now, there's guidelines to that. The biggest thing is when you apply for the grant, it could take upwards of six months before you actually get approved to even go to the trucking school. So time is the essence. The third one, signing on with the mega carrier, they take care of everything. But here's the only drawback. You have to sign one year at least with them and believe me they're gonna get their money back from you but from all these I myself paid for the school myself I went to a school that was three thousand dollars that sounds pretty cheap but I'm telling you it was a mistake and because of that I want to walk you through it now the other options I could talk about those other other days but for today I want to talk about the option that I went and basically, if you're gonna to go to this option, what you can ask to get yourself into the right trucking school. First off, I just wanna say that all three options are great. It just depends on your situation. If you're in a situation where you need a job now and you don't have the money, going the mega carrier route could be a good route, right? If you have time, and you just know you wanna get your CDL because that's something you wanna do in the future, then getting the grant can be great. If you have a little money saved up and you don't want people to have control over you, then going the route that I went of paying for school yourself is great. Now, even though I'm gonna be talking about the route that I paid for school myself and how I picked the trucking company school that I went to per se, I'm sure even if you picked another route, watch the rest of this video and you might gain some information that will still help you 
with picking the right trucking school for you. All right, the first step in picking the right trucking school, go to the DMV. Not go to any DMV, go to the one where they do the testing for your class A. Now, I went to school in Sacramento and that DMV is in West Sac. When I went for my testing day, the instructor at the DMV told me, what school are you with? I go, I'm with this in this school. He goes, oh my God, this is the worst school. My heart dropped. And you know what? It made sense because I didn't feel prepared. All right, here's the catch. The DMV instructor that actually is the one that tests you on your pre-trips and on your road tests, he sees all the students from all the schools because all the trucking schools have to make a schedule to test at that local DMV. And most of the time, in your city, there's only gonna be one location that tests for the class A. So he gets to see all the students. So go to the DMV where they're doing the testing for the class A and ask to talk to an instructor and he could tell you what schools he just physically sees, right? That pass. Okay, so you went to the DMV, you asked the instructor what school is great, right? You got the pamphlet there, you asked all the information that you need and what you need to gather so that you could take your permit test, okay? At this point, you need to go home and Google up all the schools. Look for the ones with the most reviews and comments and pick a couple of the top five and look and see if they align to a couple of the schools that the instructor at the DMV talked about. And at this point, you're ready for your next step. Okay, so you found your potential schools that you're thinking about going to. Now, this is what I need you to do, and this is what I didn't do, okay? Once you pay for the school, you're kind of stuck with them. So what you should do is go to the, the, the top schools that you picked and just kind of be an investigator. Ask the students, you know, park there and wait. Call the school and say, hey, when is your class sessions? because I'm thinking about going in. They'll tell you, they'll have a couple class sessions and they end at like three. Well, go to the parking lot at three. Talk to some of these students, ask them what they think. And some of them, they might, I'm telling you, people are really honest. When they have to pay their hard earned money themselves, they are really honest. They might say, hey, run away from this school. They might say, hey, this is the greatest school ever. Overall, ask as many students as you can and see what it's like. Do your due diligence there. All right, folks, so you went to the DMV, you asked the instructor there, you got the pamphlet, you got all the information that you needed. You went home, you Googled up everything and all the schools, and you found the one that you thought you liked. You went, you talked to the students at these schools, you found out the truth about it, and you found one, all right? You're not done. At this point, you need to go into the trucking school and you need to ask a few questions. All right, so the first question you need to ask these people at the trucking school is, how much is this trucking school? And they're gonna tell you an amount. And then you're not gonna think twice about it, right? That's not the amount that you're gonna pay. I'm gonna save you some money. Actually, you're gonna save yourself some money. Why? Because you've done so much intensive research, you know how much all these schools are charging because you've asked every question you can to every potential school you thought about going to, right? They might say that's $7,000 to go. You might be like, well, there's a trucking school right next to you with just as good ratings and there's going for 6,000. You know what I'm talking about? You need to play that game a little bit. But the first question you ask them is how much is the school? And then you ask them, can they give a better price? Secondly, you ask them installment payments. You ask every question possible because you know what? It is important. But make sure that you get them and you get them at a good price because at the end of the day, these trucking schools are businesses. They want your business, okay? But they're not gonna get it that easy because you did your research and now you're gonna save some money. And you're gonna go to the trucking school that you wanna go to. The next question that you wanna ask them at the trucking school is basically how big are these classes? Because I'll tell you what, the class I went to, that shitty school I went to, it had like so many students in it and I didn't learn nothing. 
So you need to ask how big these classes are because from this, you can gauge how much they're gonna have one-on-one -on -one with you. Now, a big question to ask them that I didn't know until I went to school is, the best people, the best students there still sometimes don't pass. And the reason why they don't pass their drive test or pre-trip test or what have you, or their permit test alone, is because they're really nervous. Some people get really nervous when they take tests. I'm one of those people. So what I'm saying is, the question you need to ask them is, hey, if I don't pass this test and I don't get my CDL, how many times are you guys gonna work with me until I pass? Can I take your course 100 times? after the fact that I paid one time? Or is it after one time, if I don't pass, you give me one more shot and after that I gotta pay for the school again? This is a good question to ask. You know, I know you're gonna pass the first time, but if you don't pass, what happens then? And hopefully they tell you, it doesn't matter what they tell other students, because you ask the question, they say, no problem, sign up with us, and when you pay that fee one time, you get to be with us till the end and we have you till the end and we will help you pass this test and if you fail it a thousand times we will help you again the next question to ask them is how new their equipment is because the school I went to sucked so bad that they had one truck and that truck was an old truck that barely passed inspection so these guys that were booking their scheduled test right my my fellow student friends they couldn't even get past the pre-trip inspection because the trucks were so old. Okay, so it's good to ask how new their equipment is because one of the things you have to do is you have to pass the pre-trip inspection at the DMV. And if this truck is so damn old, you're not gonna be able to do that, all right? And the last question I would ask is, what is their pass rate, okay? You might know that information a little bit by the reviews and Googling and all of those things, but these people have to tell you their pass rate. You know what I'm saying? And if they're telling you that their pass rate for their students is like 50%, this might not be the school for you. Overall, I know this video was long-winded, but we'll do a quick recap, okay? First off, what you wanna do is you wanna find out how you wanna pay for this school, all right? You wanna get the grant, you want to pay for it yourself, you want to go through a mega carrier. After that, you need to find out what school you're going to go to. Go to the DMV, talk to some people, gain your information there, start Googling as many trucking schools as possible, and then after that, talk to the students, okay? After talking to the students, now you need to interview the school because in life, I think we always, we, we always devalue like our own life, right? Like if we go and do an interview, it's always them asking us questions and we never have questions for them. Well, we should because you know what? That trucking school will not be there without you because you're the one keeping them alive. So they want you bad, but they got to be able to provide all the things. Just like you would interview for a trucking job, you should interview them how they would be as a trucking school. So thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Uh, if you don't want to subscribe, that's cool. I, I ain't tripping, man. I just want to give you guys some value. And uh, I wish you luck. And like I always say, man, this is a great path. It's not the easiest path, but let's be honest. Is anything easy ever worth it? Peace.